I'm Christina. And I'm Max. And in this video, we show how we made an electric magnetic pickup by hand. So originally we started off by buying the metal slugs that we need to wrap the coils around. But later it became too expensive for us to buy as many as we wanted, so we started cutting like bolts into pieces so that we could use those as the metal slugs. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is file off the sharp edges of the of the slugs so that we won't cut like the wire and ourselves. So we just uh like this little bit. Alright, so the way electric guitars work is they have something called electromagnetic pickups that pick up the sound. No, now the way those work is they have steel slugs that have coils of copper wire around around it that make an electromagnet. And then on the back of that you have a permanent magnet, a magnet that is always magnetic and it doesn't need a charge. And you have that to help polarize the field and it'll direct the energy forward. And then through that when you strum the string in front of the pickup, the uh, the vibrations are picked up by they disturb the magnetic field, and those disturbances are picked up, and they get put through the wire and out through the amplifier. So what we need to do is wind this wire right here around this around 5,000 times to help make a powerful enough electromagnet. And so we have here 44 gauge wire, which is really really thin. It's like thinner than the strand of hair. So it's very hard to get it to wrap around without breaking it. So we had to try many attempts. The first thing we tried was wrapping it right by hand, just like going like this. And we weren't able to complete any of it like this. Because the wire kept breaking. So we had to move on to a more um, modern attempt. We tried using a drill. At first when we started using the drill, we, ha we needed three people to make a pickup. We had one person holding the drill and squeezing the trigger, one person threading the wire onto the end of the slug, and one person unspooling the wire from the spool, um, copper wire. But later as we evolved the process, we found out that if we clamped everything down like this, we were able to make it so that not only could did we not need three people, we only needed one, and we could make the pickups in a fraction of the time that it took us to make it before. Right after we're done coiling the copper wire onto the slug, we get some electrical tape and tape it around all the wiring so it doesn't unravel, leaving only two ends of it out. Because the thin copper wire is too thin to connect to a, a jack cord, what I have to do is solder on lead wires. How I do this is take the two ends of the pickup and coil them around some of the wire. Then I just take my soldering iron and solder. And it's that simple. After I'm done soldering, I tape the wires down so they won't come undone and so it stays secure.